Good morning, everyone. It's Gloria. And this is the sixth day of Christmas. And I am making the video on my phone. Um, I just decided to go on and do it so I wouldn't miss so much. Even though um, the quality is not as good. I'm sure you all don't really... <laughs> It doesn't bother you about the quality uh, like it does me, but uh, I've had a lot worse, and you know, a lot of my very first videos were made on this phone, so there we go. I guess I just got spoiled on the uh, iPad, but I'm heading out this morning to AT&T, and supposedly they are going to replace my iPad, so hopefully uh, if they have one in stock, all will be well. And so enough of that. I've talked enough about my silly iPad. But uh, I wanted to show you Miss Lilybeth this morning. She has on a little velour two-piece outfit by Little Me. And uh, it's little candy cane striped uh, pants with little red velveteen bottoms on the feet. And a cute little reindeer. It looks almost like a moose. I guess it is a moose. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> On her uh, little top here. And it's trimmed around the neck and sleeves with green velveteen. And she has on her little hat that has uh, the velveteen uh, trim on it. This is my first Christmas. Just like the little top. This is my first Christmas. And it has the little antlers up at the top. I didn't have a moose, so I just put a little stuffed reindeer with her. And uh, it has the little legs that move. And uh, I've had these for a number of years. I have several of them. And uh, they are Christmas ornaments that I usually have on my tree. I have a wide variety of things I put on the tree. But when I saw those, I thought they were just really cute. <laughs> I love the fact that the little limbs... Um, move and then I like the little stitching on them but they're just little belt reindeer but there's Miss Lilybeth for the sixth day of Christmas and I uh, hope you all had a wonderful weekend I didn't get to tell you before but on, early on Saturday morning my husband and I were in the uh, Madison Christmas Parade here we're in that every year with the Mississippi Corvette Club and uh, there were I didn't really get to count them, but at one point, I know there was around 15 or 16 Corvettes uh, in a row in the parade, and we got to toss candy to the children. It was an absolutely beautiful, beautiful morning. Uh, perfect temperature. It got up to about 56 before the parade ended, and uh, of course, we ran out of candy by the time we got to the end of the parade route because there were so so many children but it was loads of fun it always is and uh, then we hurried and met my daughter at the <clears throat> um, the swimming club where my granddaughter is taking swimming lessons and we always try to attend those every Saturday morning from 11 to 11 30 she's making really good progress and I think we finally found something that she truly loves to do, and uh, so that's always fun. She gets, she's just very disappointed if we can't come watch her, and you know, it is fun to watch your grandchild progress and learn things, and then we uh, went to lunch, had lunch at Chick-fil-A, and uh, then we left them and went Christmas shopping and uh, went out to eat that night. We were going to see a movie. But by that time, boy, we were just completely worn out. <laughs> it was just a very busy, busy day. So we came home and relaxed and watched uh, a Christmas movie on the Hallmark Channel and uh, enjoyed that. And so anyway, uh, that was basically our Saturday. And uh, just uh, looking forward to another busy week. And uh, I will say bye for now. And I send love and hugs for Gloria from Gloria and Lilybeth, and we'll hopefully talk with you again either later today to get the, uh, you know, to catch up uh, on the next day of Christmas or tomorrow. So bye bye, everybody.